Life can change in an instant. For many wheelchair users, the struggle to push forward is a daily challenge. After years of development and countless prototypes, we created Rib Grips, the revolutionary wheelchair hand rim covers with built-in ribs for ultimate grip and comfort. No more slick surfaces, no more heat burns, just pure, reliable grip. Rib Grips, empowering you to push forward with ease. Rib Grips, get a grip on your freedom. Discover the difference. Visit ribgrips.com and use promo code GRIP today. You just found the perfect product that helps with staying cool during hot summer runs. No more gross warm water. Stay cool with this product from Gear Handle. This hydration tube cover helps keep your water cool and easily accessible. Stay hydrated during those long summer runs or even delay from freezing in the winter. Plus, they're compatible with various brands of water bladders and come in various colors. Visit GearHandle.com and use promo code H2O today. Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Andrew G, and welcome to this very special episode of The Public Affair. I'm really happy to announce that we're this far into the the podcast, and it's all thanks to you guys and the amazing support of this community and everybody who watches. So thank you guys so much. I truly, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And thank you guys for over 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's been a goal of mine to, um, I didn't think I was going to reach 1,000, to be honest, but we did. And so it's really (laughs) thanks to you guys who liked and shared. And even if you shared one episode, if you sponsored one episode, if you only watched one episode thank you guys so much so i really appreciate it and of course thank you to mike hamilton with rogue media network for helping me make this podcast such a success you're the best uh before we get started with this really great episode i definitely want to give a shout out to a few of our sponsors of the public affair this episode is brought to you by arjon painting with my boy juan arjon he's a family-owned local paint company that specializes in residential homes both interior and exterior he offers the best quality guaranteed so of course if you need your home painted you're going to call my boy juan arjon on the number on the screen juan thank you so much for being such a longtime sponsor of the public affair you're the best man of course to be in refinishing with my boy Frank Baiza. He focuses on resurfacing bathtubs, counters, sinks, tiles, and more to original showroom quality. He offers five-year warranty on most work and has the best prices in town. And of course, every time I talk about Frank, I talk about a true hustler. He does like every single thing in the whole entire world. If you ask him, he's going to say yes. He also has Cotown Tin, which is a mobile tent and detailing business that offers the best high-quality film and products and will be all competitor prices. Frank has picked my car up from work and brought it back to me looking like a whole snack. And then I look like a snack in it and I want to do snack things inside the car. So so Frank, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. To Jeffrey Monreal with Boyo Box and Audio, he focuses on installation of stereos, door speakers, and audio systems. He also specializes in building custom subwoofer enclosures and much more. Jeffrey is definitely a jack of all trades. He's built Boyo Box and Audio from the ground up and is full time with it now. And he says it's thanks to the sponsorship of this podcast. So I really appreciate you sponsoring this episode and all my other episodes of The Public Affair, Jeffrey. Make sure if you guys need any upgrades to your car, you're going to call my boy Jeffrey Monreal. He does it all. I love him so much. Thank you for sponsoring this episode so bro to david santabana is the number one sales agent at alinea real estate he'll help you buy a home or sell your home make sure you follow him on facebook at david with alinea or call the number on the screen darling for all your real estate needs david santabana is going to help me find my dream chateau that i'm going to have a really big public affair party in and we're going to make sure we have a pool and it's going to be super duper lady kitty and i can't wait so thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair to marcos colero with midway nutrition he's located on hewitt drive he offers tons of meal replacement shakes with tons of different flavors so if you're looking for a little bit more of a healthier lifestyle maybe a breakfast option or a lunch option you're definitely going to go to midway nutrition with my boy marcos colero and hewitt drive he also has waco nutrition and energy located on spate i love getting me a nice protein shake in the mornings after a good sexy workout and they're so delicious of course i've said for over 60 episodes of the public affair that my favorite is the honey nut cheerio so marcos thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair of course to sid rodriguez of elite barbershop he's located on hewitt drive you can download the cut app or call the number on the screen to book um actually today marcos guerrero cut my hair so I look like a whole entire snack and all the barbers there like make you look like a whole entire snack so shout out to Chris Reyes, Santos Cordova and D-Rod over there making you look all cute and hot and a snack for the whole entire weekend so you can do snack things at your house. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair to Elite Barbershop. To Joe Olvera with Four Brothers Constructions, he provides custom home designs and renovations. He also focuses on roofing, remodeling, renovations, plumbing, tree removal, electrical work and so much more make sure you call the number on the screen with my boy Joe Olvera, a longtime sponsor of The Public Affair and I truly appreciate you bro. Thank you so much 
much for everything. So if you need your home renovated, oh, and Joe's gonna build me like my whole new bathroom with um, glass shower doors and stuff. I can't wait, it's gonna be nice. sick. See, I can't wait. So as soon as David finds my chateau, uh, Joe Overa is gonna build my shower and I can't wait. Joe, thank you so much. And he's got a whole team of snacks working for him now. It's so great, I love it. Thank you to Four Brothers Construction. And of course, to Free Fit Athletics with my boy Trevor Owen. It's an apparel business with the best workout, exercise, and athletic clothing and gear with the best quality and comfort guaranteed. Make sure you check out freefitathletics.com or call the number on the screen for more info. I just ordered my shirt. Um, I'm so excited, super comfortable. I should have worn it today, but I have um, radio work to do after this, so I had to wear this shirt. But I promise Trevor on my next episode, we're gonna wear this shirt. You guys are so cute. And they have workout shorts and they got all kinds of things. So if you're into working out, you gotta hit up Free Fit Athletics with my boy Trevor Owen. And they have clothes on there that's gonna make you look like a snack. All right, cool. <laughs> more to come later. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm really excited. I'm really excited for this episode of The Public Affair. Uh, we have some scheduling conflicts, but of course we make it work out all the time. And actually, I've been wanting this queen on the show for a long time. Like I say, everything is situational. I, I was I was like, please don't change your schedule today. And, you know, we, we might end up incorporating some, like, fun things on the show. And, you know, I always have, like, somebody that has something going on um, on the show, like, whether they're a business owner or endeavor or whatever. But I really sometimes like to have the average Joe as well. So, what? I thought this really great idea, invite some bartenders on the show and talk about slutty bartender things. So <laughs> <laughs> I, asked, I asked everybody on my social media to name me some popular bartenders and April Nunn was one of them. And I've been friends with her for many years. April, welcome to this episode of The Public Hello. Affair. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing so good. Thank you for coming. I, I know we had some scheduling conflicts today. Um, so Brandon Moreno, if that's yes. how, yeah, he was supposed to be here with you today. Oh, um, we're gonna yes. see if we can call him. Um, okay. we, we did this thing where we Bluetooth on the, the track. I've never done that before. So we're gonna like blind call him and see what he says. <laughs> but, but maybe later in the episode. But um, I, I did invite him and you on the show. Unfortunately, yes. he had to, um, you know, well, hopefully we can reschedule him for another day. It wasn't a, appropriate today, but um, shout out to you, Brandon, for even, Brandon. you know, accepting your invite to the public affair. I really appreciate it. And thank you for yes. coming. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Are How you are excited? You? Yes. You look like a snack today down too. Dirty. Thank you. you. You know, snack is like my new thing. Like yeah. <laughs> ever since I lost like 53 pounds, like I, I feel like a whole snack. Well, now you're yeah. not a snack. You're a home meal. I am. Right? So yeah. I need to upgrade, right? Yeah, I'm an entree. Like, what is this? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Redo the ads. No, yeah. <laughs> no you know what? Um, I'm really excited. Like I was saying, um, you know, I always like to have like have these sporadic ideas for the public affair. And of course we right. want to, you know, promote like the local business owner or whatever the case. But I was like, you know, what about sometimes I get the average Joe and I've done that before. And I was like, God, you know, I haven't been to a bar in a long time. And it made me really think about a lot of the things that happen at bars and I know you've been <laughs> right like a lot of slutty disgusting Ooh. things <laughs> and you've been a bartender for a long time long so time. when I um, asked my the everybody on my social media uh, you know hey what's who's your favorite bartender that was the purpose was to create this episode and um, you and Brandon got a lot of um, tags so oh, we're tag team okay. are y'all <laughs> now y'all tag teaming or y'all tag, tag team, team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well April why don't you introduce yourself to us for um, for anybody who may not know who you are like tell us a little bit about you and what you do okay um, I'm April Nunn. Uh, I'm Hi. local to Waco. <laughs> <laughs> I was like Andrew said, I've known him for a few years. Yeah. Just, just a few. Just a few. Not, yeah. No crazy okay. nights. No, you know, we're regular. Yeah. Okay. And, and I don't do girls. I don't know why she's trying to ask. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I will say April has a nice ass, but that's about it. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yes. So um, around Waco, I'm known mostly as a bartender, mm -hmm. um, but I also own a couple businesses myself that oh. I'm working on. Uh, been working on for a few years. Uh, but COVID kind of slowed a lot of them down, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Because everything comes back around in full circle. <laughs> yeah, you can um, talk to me, April. You don't have to look at the camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I mean, sure. unless you just want to talk to them, that's fine. I'm like, hey. <laughs> I, like, you're looking over there. I was like, hey, uh, no, right here, April. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's, uh -huh. uh, um, I'm, I'm just all around. Yeah. I'm a jack of all trades. I do uh, a little bit of everything. Right. Uh, Everything. And you can, and you know what? You can make some drinks, too. You know, we were just talking yes. about, I think it was close to a year ago that our friends Vicky and Xavier got married. Or what was it? A no, couple no, years no, ago? it was like four years ago. It was like four ago. years? It's Jesus Christ, are you serious? Four. Oh, shit. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> four years guys. ago. Yeah, congrats <laughs> to you guys. Shout out to them. Four years ago, they got married. I think that's might have where I first met you was yes. at that way because I was trying to get at with Jose wedding. Hernandez at the time. And I fell in love <laughs> with you because he's like, listen, okay, we're not going to talk about that. Yeah. But, no, uh, wait, wait, no. no, me and him are cool as fuck. I love him now. We're really good friends. He knows, yeah. No, but for sure, I fell in love with you because uh -huh. you were just turned up like but, I was. But can you tell them that a lot of my now yes. friends, because you know I've really cut back, they don't believe it. They don't believe that I used to be like like Litty Kitty Same. all the time. Yeah. Same. And now I've, I've really just taken a seat back. 
Yeah. Right. And now we're just watching everybody else. Yeah. And we're like, did I do that? Okay. You go through your old slutty snaps and you're like, oh shit. You know what I mean? Did I post this? Yeah, I posted that. <laughs> right? The Junction 84. Why didn't anybody stop me? You guys are not loyal. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. But that was such a fun wedding. I had such yes. a great time and great we got time. so drunk. And, uh, and, Many and, more years for them. Yes. For sure. <laughs> for sure. I love that couple too. And, um, you know, I remember seeing you do your thing because you had mentioned a few times that night that you were a bartender and you, I think at one point you might have went back and started helping the bartender because she was yes. not, she was doing great but she was on struggle bus because there was a lot of us at that wedding <laughs> you know I mean? a lot more so, than she expected yeah so a uh, shout out i can't remember her fucking maria. name was it maria uh, marie marie, no, marie. 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 oh what's her last is it sabito is it sabito sabito yes. okay if it's marie sabito shout out to you yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah but yeah she was doing good but i was like yeah, there's a lot of people yeah we did first meet there and then we took that trip to oklahoma yes for the vela wedding well vela yeah. holloway oh the vela holloway yes Wait, yes ashley a. ashley and chasen shout out a. to them chasen's out, new single's out right now wavy okay so um, <laughs> um why don't you talk to us a little bit about your life growing up i mean so you're from here in waco yes. correct okay so um i mean what was it like for you i mean did you have to deal with any adversities or were you just pretty because you you never seem like the type of person that's been like like you get into conflicts you know what i mean oh, like no. you're just do, you seem like really drama. just chill like i can't imagine you pissed um, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um it definitely comes out okay people have nicknamed me the little pit bull really at some places okay um growing up I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Had a great family. Shout out to A Ray. A. Um, that's my brother. Oh, okay. Austin Nunn. Uh, Tipro, Anthony Tipro, Antoinette Nunn. Those are my siblings. Oh, cool. Shout um, out to them. Part of the Nunn family. Okay, got you. So, Ben's, all of us. We yeah. grew up a lot outside. Okay. Um, like playing outside? Playing outside. Okay, got I was kind of the youngest. So mm -hmm. uh, I was kind of picked on a lot. Yeah. Oh, really? By the <laughs> I was the there. test dummy. You okay, know? I got you. They would always test stuff on me. Right. Um, and so it was a lot of fun, but I was I was a straight tomboy. Yeah, for sure. I was right behind my brothers. Uh, I can't child. imagine that because oh, you're so pretty. Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I got on their nerves a lot. Did Let's you? say that. Okay, I was got you. With them, with their friends. Yeah. Uh, wrestling, uh, jumping off of trees, skateboarding, <laughs> trampoline. Yeah. All my friends were guys. For I sure. didn't hang out with very many girls. Mm -hmm. If I did, we were just cool. Yeah, they yeah. Weren't really, my friends. Like y'all weren't over there doing hair and mm -mm. shit. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> now yeah. my cousins, they used to try to teach me, treat me like their Barbie doll. Yeah. Hated it. But really? Hated it. I can't Hated tell now it. because you look really, I, every time I see you, you always look really did up and like Thank really you. pretty. Thank you. Yeah. Now it's a whole different story because okay. I'm trying to find me a husband. Oh, really? So okay. I've been trying to find a husband too. It's really hard in 2021, dude. Yes, like, it really yeah. is. It's, it's fucking terrible. 2020 is legit. And okay. I thought when we stopped doing our drunk slutty days that it would come and then it still right. hasn't. So I'm kind of thinking nope. about just going back to it. You know? But I think a lot of it's my fault because okay. I'm so focused right now. Right. It's I'm dating. Okay. But um, nothing is... I guess you can say in my mind, I'm mm -hmm. just kind of like, okay, I don't want to be in a relationship right, right now because I'm trying to work. No, on for sure. Things. When you say you're dating, do you do you have like a special man in your life right now, or are you just kind of yes. like, are you on Tinder? I have an MVP. Okay, okay, come on. MVP. <laughs> Is okay. he a snack too? No. Yeah, he, he's, I would Why say he's, if my man hesitated when he said that, I'd fuck him up. Okay, no, <laughs> fuck that shit. he is a for sure yeah. the whole package. Oh, okay, I, I like him a lot. Yeah, that's lot. good. Lot. Like, like mm -hmm. he might be like potential uh, bay, potential bay, potential bay. Okay, yes. that's what's up. Okay, so <laughs> let, let's get into the juicy stuff. Speaking of bay, okay, so <laughs> so you are like we mentioned earlier, a local bartender, and like I said, I really wanted, I just want to make this a fun episode. And there's a lot that goes on at the bar, and right. us as spectators, as drunk spectators, that probably contribute to a lot that goes on at the bar. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get the the like the take of the person behind the bar. You know what I mean? That That's not <laughs> drunk and that's just looking like, what the fuck? And you have, anyway. <laughs> so talking about your time as a bartender, and we don't have any alcohol now, so I'm just going to drink it out of my public, <laughs> my water, out of my public affair glass that Ashley Ledesma on my last episode made Yes, me. Mm. go mm. Ashley. She's a snack. <laughs> okay, so um, when did you become a bartender? And what, what was that decision? I mean, like, what made you say, this is what I'm going to start doing? Um, I guess you can say, long story short, I started with waitressing. Mm -hmm. My first job was Cheddar's. And then I went to Hooters. Okay. And oh, yeah. from there, I actually <laughs> met Brandon, Michael oh, okay. Moreno. We need to call him. We have got <laughs> to. Okay, yeah, we're going to. Yes. Wait, let me tell the story No, tell first, your story. And then we'll, okay, go ahead. He will tell you the total the whole, opposite okay, story. Let me sure. say <laughs> No, he's, he's actually become one of my best friends in the mm -hmm. whole world. Love him to death. Um, no, but he came to Hooters with his friends all the time, okay. and they were all just super, super chill. And right. Because I grew up like a tomboy, it just kind of, we just matched. Just, we just yeah, became okay. friends. And um, he was, one day he was like, yo, 
you ever thought about bartending? And uh-huh. I was like, no, <laughs> thanks for that. Like, right. bartending, no one ever remembered all those drinks. So okay. that was my mindset going that into it. That seems like it'd be hard. I was yeah. just, no. Right. <laughs> I don't even like math. And you want me to add up stuff? Okay, sure. No. And so, <laughs> and so he was like, no, 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 you should come try it. He was working mm-hmm. at Austin's at the time. Okay. And so he was like, no, 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 come try it, come try it. We might, you might like it. Right. And so he was like, let me train you. Give it two weeks. We'll see what happens. Right. Here we are 10 years later. <laughs> Has it I'm been stuck. 10 years? Yes. <laughs> I was 18 going into uh, 19. Right, right. Was when I first started. And shout out to him and right. Del, I mean, uh, Delvin and Cece and uh-huh. all them. They've all been great. Oh, that's with good. It. They've all been yeah. great. They taught me a lot back then. How do, you know, you mentioned because, like, th- there's so many drinks that you guys have to remember. And it seems like when people go to the bar, they make up their own shit. You know Pretty what much. I mean? What do you, how do you, what, do, what? like, um, do you have, like, a special on, notebook or? It depends on the mood. Okay. Honestly. Because if you're mean? not in a mood as a bartender, mm-hmm. somebody comes up to you and they say, make me something. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like. Bitch, like, what do you want? Like, <laughs> bitch, if you don't give me, like, a vodka, a tequila, uh, yeah. a rum, what do you like? <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever crafted something, make pretend, and then told them this is what it is? And Pretty they, much. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, oh, that happens all the time. I used yeah. to do that really bad with old fashions. Really? I still can't make a good old fashioned. Okay. It's one of the most simplest drinks. It's just sugar uh-huh. and cherries and oranges and whiskey. But right. it's people, some people like the cherry muddled. Uh-huh. Some people don't like the cherry oh, in God. there. And I just be like, listen, you're going to take this goddamn drink. Okay. <laughs> okay? You're just going to drink this shit. Yeah. No, do you know what? Do you ever get those people that, because um, I've seen this a lot at the bar when I used to go a lot. There was always people that complained that the drink wasn't strong enough. Oh, yeah. How do you feel? And you have to speak for all the bartenders, because right now you're representing all mm. the bartenders, April. So you have to, <laughs> so you have to speak to, you have to speak, in, you know, for that, for them. Okay. And, but, so yeah. to all the people who say that, mm. F you. <laughs> from, <laughs> from all of us. Yeah, yeah. Just kidding. No, 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 no. No, honestly, some <laughs> when people go to bars, there's a difference between nightclubs and restaurants. Okay. A lot of people don't understand there's a difference mm. in those drinks. Really? Yes. Like, okay, how so? Because m- the majority of restaurants uh-huh. are crafted drinks. Okay. They're specifically not supposed to be strong because you're in a restaurant. Huh. You with your family. Why yeah. the hell you want to get crazy and oh, act okay. up? Yeah, I got <laughs> you. Know you. Ain't, no, ain't no reason to get lit uh, at a restaurant. Yeah, you want to feel okay. it, but they, they don't want to overindulge you. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. You know so, what I'm saying? So, like, at a restaurant, it's not really, like, um, promoted to just be getting wild. Because mm-hmm. I used to. I'm not going to lie. I used to go to mm-hmm. La Fiesta and get them purple margaritas now, that sneak up on me. La Fiesta, <laughs> yeah. places that are known for margaritas, those uh-huh. have to be strong. Okay. But uh, you can't, like, for instance, you don't go to, like, Cheddar's and be like, oh, <laughs> let me get 10 shots to this oh you know what I'm okay saying? i got you if yeah. that makes sense now yeah it, you can get a strong drink there but it's just not like something that is just known right for. like but it's not appropriate for yeah. that setting okay yeah. i see now, what you're saying because there's families and right, kids okay. right right now right. if you're with your family say it's a graduation party yeah. or something like that yeah go go all out but nine times out of ten you're gonna leave and go to a club girl i used to, to go i used to go to every restaurant back in the day and get super litty kitty <laughs> and I, they would think i was so annoying i knew i was one of those annoying just i was like loud but i was never yeah. like fighting anybody you know what right, i mean right 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 yeah now, some I, people ju- they just so, do too much i think some people just cannot drink yeah i think it should absolutely. be illegal i think there should be a sign on the door that says do not feed this person alcohol <laughs> like i do i really yes. feel that way because some people would be acting extra for no reason and i'm just it's like bro the, it's the <laughs> extra part of, yeah. you can go and get lit i'm not saying that no enjoy wrong. yourself but yeah enjoy yourself but just remember there are people around right. who might employ you one day you don't want to act yeah crazy. but you but you want to know what april in the same respect <laughs> like when i was getting litty kitty at a bar i couldn't stand <laughs> it when they would cut me off or tell mm-hmm. me i've had enough versus somebody who's being confrontational because right. i wasn't the one in the corner getting into a fight you right, know what I right, mean? Absolutely. What, what do you guys do in a situation like that? Because I know that's pretty. I'm sure you've been in, in the middle of your own scuffles. You know what I mean? So, uh, so what do you do in a fight breaks out? <laughs> oh, like at the bar while you were working? <laughs> yeah. Tell us a story. I want to know. Um, uh, let's just say. I please, you could tell it. Okay, it's the public. I, was, <laughs> I mean, this dude, he was just being very, very racist. Oh, okay. And I don't, I don't, I don't play that. You don't like racists. No. Okay. Well, nobody I, likes racists. If you, if you don't, if you don't like. My people. That's uh-huh. fine. Okay. Do your thing. Was you he at the bar there? harassing yeah, you about bar. your race? Yeah. Uh-huh. And he was he was there and he just kept going and okay. going. And I was like, listen, mm-hmm. you don't like me, that's fine. I'm gonna give you your beer, you pay me, you take uh, me. And we good, yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. But you ain't gotta do all that. And he mm-hmm. just kept like what was he, he saying? Was, 
he was with his friends uh-huh. and and they were just he just kept calling me different names like I guess quote unquote like uh, the black names. Okay, I don't like that. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> well, no, don't I'm sure do nobody that. does because yeah. I told you my name was April, so okay, don't yeah. just make up names. I'm not gonna say anybody's name because it might really be my name. No, yeah, but okay. it was just extra, and he was like, "Oh, that's not your name." Uh-huh. Oh, um, okay. Well, let me try this one. Let me try this one. I was oh, like, wow. uh, and then so he said. He said, well, what about the N-word? I said, you call me the N-word, I'm going to slap the fuck out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, whatever, you're in a restaurant, you're going to get fired. I was like, this job don't matter. Okay, sure. <laughs> There's 20 billion other bars in the week. So he was like, he he tested it. He, uh-huh. he said it real low. And I asked him, I said, what would you say? Uh-huh. He was like, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. And then I walked off, and he was like, you fucking nigga. Mm. I was like. Oh, my. <laughs> just. <laughs> Did you hit him? Yeah. Okay. So then what happened? I, sla- I slapped him. Yeah. I would say I, I slapped him softly. Yeah. Um, it <laughs> was kind of like a little, you know, like powder. Like you didn't powder. mean it? Like, <laughs> like why would you do it softly if he called it was, you that? It was, like, it was, I mean, it was it was the work softly. Okay, got you. I guess you can say it was like one of those where I, I can get fired, but uh, I really okay. can't because I didn't hit him that hard. Right, right. You know? <laughs> but you still put your hands on somebody. But yes, did, it was warranted in I a did. way. I don't I know. Did. Yeah, okay. And his friends, they were like, what? No, no, no. My manager comes around the corner. Uh-huh. He's like, what the hell is going on? I was like, he called me a nigga. I couldn't help yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so did you did you get in trouble that day? No. No? Oh, good. Okay. I, I worked at Hooters for about seven more years. <laughs> oh, it was at Hooters? <laughs> yes, it uh, was at but, Hooters. No, no, sorry. <laughs> no, and I love Hooters. I do. No, I love, no. But that crowd, you know, I'm yeah. not saying the people so, that work sometimes, there. You know, sometimes lot of, lot of we those, get a few. Yeah. Okay. It, it's not a lot. It's, it's only a few. And yeah. I mean, it's it ha- it's happened at every bar. Mm-hmm. It's just that was the one time I actually physically put my hands on somebody. Right. I do. I am upset about it now. That I think about it. I shouldn't uh-huh. let him get to me. But he did come back a couple weeks later and apologize. Oh, that's good. He okay. was like, he's like, I was drunk. Da, da, da. I was like, yeah. uh, well, we can't ever be friends because that's how you really feel. <laughs> so no. Yeah. So that no, was yeah. my altercation. Now, what I, what I do when other people alt- altercate. Yeah. However you want to say it. When they fight. Because um, I can't, I always hated that. Like, I hated going to, sometimes after my show on Power 108, I would go to, ooh, what's it called? Is it, is it no, not Austin's. What's the one that used to be Treff's? Um, muddle. Muddle. No, 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 no. Not fucking Muddle. Oh, mm. I can't remember what it's called. Halftime. Halftime. I used to go to Halftime. I was right? like, wait, Yeah. <laughs> I used to go upstairs and get a couple beers, and sometimes people would just break into a fight for no reason. Mm-hmm. April, what is going on at these places that we um, are just not seeing? Are they just, is it drunken stupors? Or? I feel like a lot of it, Some sometimes, it depends because sometimes you may have girls who don't yeah. like each other because of a dude Ooh, or a dude who doesn't like another dude because yeah. of a girl. Like, that's nine nine times out of ten what it is. Right. Now, the other eight times out of ten <laughs> <laughs> is when somebody is looking at somebody wrong. Oh, okay. That's where that comes from in that drunk anger when yeah. you just go and you just try to... But those are the people that shouldn't drink. That's what I'm saying because yep. when I used to get drunk, I just wanted to have like lots, <laughs> lots of like great sex. Right. And so I never wanted to just... Yeah, right? Like, I'm not trying to fight nobody and I can't understand these people that just go and it's like, what are you looking at? You know yes. what I mean? Yeah. See, me, nine times, me, I just want to dance. Uh-huh. Like, I just want to dance like Jennifer Lopez okay. video. I'm trying to be, bull. yeah, I'm trying to act like there's people yes. watching me and shit. This yes. is my next Lights, opportunity. Videos. Yeah. Yes, that's all I want to do. So when people yeah. fight, if it's somebody that I know, my instinct is to try to break it up. Right. Unfortunately, I don't do that anymore. Okay. But, um, Back then, my instinct was to break it up if I knew them, and then the other instinct, if I didn't know them, I'd be like, "Damn, y'all fucking up my money!" <laughs> like, stop. You know what? I can, re- I can recall a time I was at Austin's on the Avenue, um, and, and I was with Vic, and I was with Rebecca, Re- Rebecca, our girl yes, Rebecca, yes, Romero. and and sh- none of them got into the fight. But I just remember, like, I guess there's that, you know, the lights turn on like, yes. when the music's over, yes. and I just remember as soon as the lights turn on, a big fight broke out in the Every in time. the dance floor. I was like, Every- what the Time. Like I didn't even know what happened. Like it literally went from girls shaking their ass on a dude to pulling mm-hmm. hair. It was in an instant like that. Yeah. So I, I mean, what and is then that? a lot of yeah. people, a lot of people wait for crowds too. Okay, they wait for the lights to come on to do a fight, but it kind of backfires because what if you lose? <laughs> like, no, I, you well, so you're out. saying that they do that just to kind of like show off, like oh, like I do yeah, got hair. Like oh, wait, everybody videotape Look, me so we, anybody, I can be the subject for the week. Okay, please, because anybody that ever <laughs> tried to fight me, I would. I've had two people try to fight me at a bar one time. Yeah, and I was just like, okay look like this is no, you're gonna win i'm not gonna try and fight you back i can't i don't fight april i don't fight i've never been right. a fighter and so I, if i try to hit you back you're gonna win regardless please 
you're gonna embarrass both of us at the right, end of the right, day. Like, right. let me buy you a beer. I'm sorry I tried to sleep with you, and let's move <laughs> on. Okay, like I'm Facts. sorry. I think you were Facts. giving me you were giving me vibes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, see, yeah. definitely, I've had people try to fight me in bars. I've had people try to fight me as a bartender. Right. I was I mean, gonna say, I've do, had my do, fair share. Do people but... get drunk and like wait, like maybe you? They say you charged them wrong or you made their drink wrong and they try to fight you or how does that um, work? I've had people try to do that. I had somebody do that a couple weeks ago. Actually. Oh, really? Oh, um, shit. <laughs> no, they were mad, but I'm re- I've am i gotten really good at mm-hmm. calming people down Yeah. because I had to learn how to calm myself down. Right. Once I learn how to calm myself down, you have to like think, okay, this person is drunk. They're not thinking yeah. any anything. Right. Their mind is going 100 miles per hour. For sure. So all they see is... Oh, you charge me wrong, dude. I'll be like, listen, dude, I'll give you ten dollars back. It's yeah. not even that serious. It's I got right, you. Yeah. But nine times out of ten, you know where the you know where the best part comes out. Right. You gotta flirt. Oh really? You gotta use the eyes. So you use your boobs sometimes? The eyes. Oh, I don't the have eyes. boobs. It's the yes, ass. Yes, you do. You, you have gotta, the boobs right there. What I got, about? I got yeah. like cleavage. This Victoria's secret. <laughs> <What>? Okay. <laughs> no, you know? they're, they're right there. They're great. No, but for sure. <laughs> no, I use. I gotta use the eyes because you know you gotta flirt. With okay, them, I was. With gonna, the you, you know what? That leads me to my next. I'm really happy that you said that. Do you think that it's easier for a woman to make tips versus a man in a bar no. setting? Really? No. I, okay, explain to me <laughs> why. Because I, 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 I and no, I no seriously because <laughs> me looking from the outside in, I always thought. Like men are, we're, they're idiots. <laughs> like, <laughs> like men, men think with one thing. I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm betraying us. Like we are. Like yeah. we're idiots. Like we think of one thing and one thing only. And so yeah. when a, when a girl is like you know pushing herself up on somebody or you know showing the boobs or whatever yeah. is wearing a skimpy outfit, you know the guy you know will tip more. And and, right. th- and this is just my logic. I could be completely wrong here. And then if it's just some dude, you know what I mean. But so, it's, you know? I, I would say it depends on the dude because okay. For for instance, shout out to Brandon Marina. Yeah. Um, I I call him Brandon. Most people call him Mike. So okay. let me say that too. Um, and to Rip, my current bartender that uh-huh. I work with, Rip, I've seen Terrence Bauckham. Shout out to him. Yeah. Um, those are the guys that I've worked with, mm. and I've seen them pull some money. Really? Like twice as much as, as I can with okay. the same person. Right. C- call and Brandon. I have a question. <laughs> they <Yeah>. definitely <laughs> do it because, for one, they're guys, guys. Okay. Like, I guess you can say. For instance, they know how to talk to guys. Right. Not like that, but you know, like they just know how to be. I don't. I see. I'm, 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 this is why I really wanted him because I really wanted to ask him that question. I wanted a man's point of view. So right now we're calling Brandon. Okay. Oh, this is so great. Okay, we're calling Let's Brandon. Let's answers. see if he answers. Yeah. I hope he does. Damn. I know he better. Yeah. Fucking. Watch him see my call. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't want to call him because then I figured he wouldn't pick up. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> We usually start talking around after six okay. when we both wake up. He, he said he had the kids. He, he does have the kids. Hey, we should leave him Shout a voice. Shout out to his beautiful Can, kids. We should leave him a voicemail. That'll work. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we're calling, right, it's cute. We're calling Brandon Moreno right now. Moreno, Moreno. Is he going to ice us? Please leave your <laughs> message. <laughs> no, we really- <laughs> we're gonna leave my voice now. Okay, no, no, we'll call, we'll call him back later. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. We'll try him again. In a yeah, I'm sure we can leave that because we didn't get the whole. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, well, I guess that was just always my point of view. I always yes. thought it was easier for me. So you back to differ is what you're oh, saying. Oh, yeah. If, okay. you, if you're a dude with a personality and you know how to talk to people uh-huh. and you know how to make people drink and be um, engaging in conversation, right. you know how to start a conversation as a dude, you're going to ball as okay. a bartender. Like, I've literally seen them do it. See, with m- women, it's mostly. We use our looks. I don't okay, really yeah. have to talk to you because all you got to do is look at me and you're going to give me money. Yeah. You, you have a I'm very saying? nice figure. So I'm, yeah. I'm going to take your money. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but with them, they have to do go like a little bit of the extra mile. But mm-hmm. when they do, they create regulars. Uh, like okay. crazy regulars. Really? And Brandon is the go at it. Really? Okay. He creates Well, I was going to say, a lot of people, ta- I, don't, I don't know Brandon personally. Like mm-hmm. I've never really met him. I've seen him at bars, but I've never oh, had yeah, a Oh yeah, he's definitely the yeah. go. Now, like I remember one time, he, he works every Monday night at Backyard. Okay. Shout out to Backyard. Shout out to Backyard. Uh, <laughs> he, he, uh, he works every Monday night. And um, I remember one time he was out sick, and okay. I had they. He asked me to work a shift, and I'm like, "What?" Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so uh, I work it, and all the dudes that come in, they're like, "Yo, uh, where's B at? <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's Mike at? Yeah, yeah." Uh, y'all got me. Look yeah, at me. What's up? Like, okay. Why would y'all want to talk to me? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll get a couple drinks and we'll head out. 
Oh shit! Bro, yeah, is it like, like that? See, I guess I'm just chucking. Like I don't know. I always thought it was different. You know mm-hmm, what I mean? I always mm-hmm. thought that they just have the conversations yeah. with him. He knows how to. He knows how to fuck with people. He okay. knows how to. But he also can do the same with females. I thought you so said he knows how to fuck you. people. Yeah. Okay. No, no, that's his personal. Business. Oh shit! No, no. I, I, I don't, again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let him speak. Yeah. Well, let him speak if he calls us back. Okay. <laughs> no. But he does have a lot of regulars that he knows how to just. Okay. Do you keep. do you think you have your fair share of regulars? Like, mm-hmm. I mean. You know, where do you bartend right now? Um, at Cozy's on the weekends. Okay, Cozy's on the weekends. So during the week, are you not bartending? No, I'm the oh. marketing manager at Walk-Ons. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah we got to talk. Okay, so <laughs> we do. We have to talk. But anyway, um, okay, so um, which leads me to my next question. Okay, so you work at Cozy's on the weekends. Um, do, What bar have you not worked at? Because I, oh, I do feel like when it comes to the service industry, especially here in town, this is a small town in Waco, and um, I feel like... If you've seen one bartender at a certain bar, you've seen them everywhere else. Yeah. Like, uh, can you can you attest to that? I, I'm 100% that person. Okay. People will go to one bar and then literally see me at the next one mm-hmm. and then see me at a totally different one the next day. Right. But, like, and why? Like, why, why don't you stick to one know. place? Like, I, 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 honestly, I get bored. Okay. And I can't just work in one spot. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, with me and my personal life, there's other things that I want to do with my life. Right. So, bartending is just kind of like an experience for me. Okay, gotcha. But it's a way to ex- make money, of course. Right, for sure. But um, the different bars, you you experience different people too. Mm-hmm. Like I don't meet the same, I don't see the same people. Oh, every okay, got you. Bar. So every bar is a completely different vibe. Okay. And so it it feeds my personal ego as yeah. well because I'm like, okay, I get to meet all these different okay. people. Okay, and so then there. you kind of almost somewhat make a name for yourself in town because mm-hmm. you're known as that really great bartender that mm-hmm. works everywhere. You know? Yeah, and then they'll yeah. be like, oh, we like her. Let's yeah. go to her. Okay. Now, thankfully, I am. Um, grace, gratefully for all the bars that do welcome me there because I'm welcome at almost every bar in Waco. Uh, oh, good. Okay. Um, if I go in and say like, hey, is it cool if I work here? When uh-huh. they find out what my name is or they've seen me somewhere, yeah. they're like, yes. But you know, when? I was going to say so like when you, because you were mentioning that Brandon said, hey, cover my shift. And if you're not an mm-hmm. employee at Backyard, I mean, since you're licensed bartender, do you just get to step in anywhere and bartend? Or like, um, I mean, do you fill out W2s happened. and shit? Like, I don't understand. No, sometimes okay. that's happened. Um, since I, I I just do concerts at the Backyard right, right now. Right, right. But um, like at other bars, if say, for instance, I go to Magoo's and they need help behind the bar, mm. I, could, I don't work there, but they know what I'm capable of. Oh, so okay, got like, you. They'll be like, hey, can you come help me? And they'll the let bar? you keep your tips. You know, and, yeah. and now I don't expect the tips. I just, mm. like, I'm just like, no, let me uh, help. Yeah, you're you going to pay me saying? for my services. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> for yeah. sure, for sure. Um, a lot of times, like, if I go somewhere and I can't get a drink, I'll yeah. be like, yo, y'all need help. Yeah, what's up? Okay, bet. Let me come <laughs> Let me come kill this rush real quick with yeah. you. Then I get my drink and then I go back downstairs really? and okay. do whatever I do. You know, do, you, so, do, you, um, do you enjoy doing that or do you feel like it takes time? Because don't you want your personal time sometimes where you're just like, I'm not really trying to do that. Oh, yeah. But yeah. my personal time honestly comes from when I go to Houston. Oh, OK. I'll just I'll just go completely out of town. Yeah. Where nobody has any idea who I am. Uh, right. who I am. So therefore, there's no asking. There's no, okay. hey, help me. Da, 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 and that, da. that's where your snack lives, I assume. No. <laughs> no oh my god, okay. <laughs> well you you're in Houston, I'll just go to Houston. No, you know what I mean? My my two best friends live in Houston. Oh okay, so. shout out to them. <laughs> you know what what is your what is your take on the bar rat do you know what i'm talking about the person at the bar all the time always mm. there like it, it seems like they they don't got nothing else going on besides that um like i i personally don't like to see people become that person and I, only because i feel like nothing productive's happening i just I, I i admire them because i'm like one mm. day i want to have that much money oh okay we well, can just spend at the bar, the bar. <laughs> 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 every yeah. time i see them i'm like bro how do you always have money to come here every right. single day Stay for four or five hours. Okay. Spend some. Not, they're not like not, not spending money right. either. Like they they're just, just spend a good sixty, seventy dollars every mm. trip. So I'd be like, damn. Is that your time? <laughs> you know, you're you, like, what do you do? Right, for sure. <laughs> um, you know, what is your, what is, what are we misconcepting about the service industry? Because like, I was when I had the owners of Backyard on here, mm-hmm. um, n- they don't much bartend, and you know, besides owning the business. And I remember somebody putting on my Facebook wall, like I, I was fucking tired so i think they were drunk because that shit was like at three in the morning and so um, i just remember oh shit okay service industry what what do we how do you feel about people not tipping you first of all oh i mean but, but do you do you think do you think that sometimes a bartender deserves a tip 100 percent of the time or or like do you think if you suck you don't deserve a tip because my thing is that if you're not giving me really good service like 
Mm-hmm. Why should I put money in your pocket? You I, see what I I'm agree. Saying? I yeah. agree. Now the tipping, uh, the, there's two sides to the tipping okay. for me. There's the patron side of understanding, and then there's the bartender side of understanding. Okay. Um, for sure, I think that I would say ninety percent of the time you should tip. Now, if you walk in and your bartender is just rude as hell, right. don't want to talk to anybody, doesn't want to get you your order, right. hell no, you ain't getting shit. Okay. Okay. Go. okay. So, yeah, I feel the same way though. Yeah. You know, go. Yeah. You're rude. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a difference between being rude and frustrated. Right. Because sometimes you do get frustrated, but you have to, as a bartender, you have to think, I got to come back okay. and think, these people don't know what I'm going through right now. Right. They have no idea what just happened five minutes ago. Okay. They, they don't need to come well, in people to are, me being angry. Well, and people are in and out, and then you're one person dealing with a plethora uh, of yes. people every day. And yes. and, and customer service, it's it's almost as if you guys have the bigger it's weight hard. on your shoulders. It's yeah. hard. Uh, a lot of, uh, on the patron side, a lot of people don't understand mm-hmm. how much weight you're carrying to do this all day long. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be like, hey, yeah. what's up, y'all? Every every time your regulars come in, you gotta be turnt because right. you know, you they, they don't come in to be sad, they come in and turn up. Right. So it's like you have to turn it on regardless of okay. how you're like feeling. you have to keep their energy and yes. then that's how you get money. Yes. Okay. And then for sure, but the tipping aspect, I think that if they suck don't tip them. Yeah. But if they're good, mm-hmm. give them something. Something, okay. So I don't what, care what's, if it's a what's, dollar, two dollars. I was going to say, what's no the matter. what's the least amount that's appropriate? Um, In the in a nightclub setting, you should tip at least a dollar every time you go to the bar. Every time you, okay. Every Even time. for just one beer. Even if it's for one beer, put a dollar. Okay, in. gotcha. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind because I remember when I used to go get one beer, I didn't know, you know, because mm-hmm. like if the beer is three fifty, like, do I give you now a some dollar? People, like, now, some people yeah. tip up front. Okay. Like I've had people walk in and hand me hundred dollars and be like, hey, oh, this is your tip take for Take care of me tonight. Yeah, okay. and I'd be like, oh, okay. I mean, sure, yeah. Hmm, you know, and, and you know what? After. That's so great. Chris <laughs> Cox said that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like I, he mentioned something about about that mm-hmm. some I, I can't do that. verbatim remember what he said but yeah some people do that and okay. then some people they tip afterwards like they'll open oh. up a tab and they'll be like yo um after this i got you and i close but, out you know what that is such <laughs> a great idea so if i ever go to a bar with my people i'm gonna just have an extra hundred dollars i'm gonna find like yeah. the cutest guy and be like here take care of me tonight <laughs> <laughs> right, that's and not prostitution right yes, that's, that's if serving you do me. something like that the yeah. bartenders there immediately every is time you right? come up to the bar we're like yo okay. Skip yeah. everybody. Yeah, move the you fuck over. <laughs> well, and, and to be honest, it's, it's fair though. You know yeah. what I mean? Because you already know that you were taken care of. Every I have night. guys yeah. that I have. Well, let me not say just guys because no, women yeah. do it too. But um, I have people that do that at Cozy's as well. Right. And like, because we have this little, oh. oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, we have this little side window uh-huh. over on the side. You got to come to Cozy's. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, but and I do bottle service there too. Oh, okay. And so uh, I have guys that I'll see and I'll be like, oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then other people will come to the window and they're like, hey, can I? Nope. Get your ass over here. Yeah. Get on this side. <laughs> and they never understand why. You, and I'm yeah. just like, yo. Then they'll ask me, they'll be like, well, how do you get over there? And I'm yeah. like, you just gotta tip me good. Yeah, yeah. Like that's okay. that's literally the, these people give me. Money. It's it's the name of the game. You know it is what I mean? It is. Yeah, no, you I, want, I hear what you're saying. If you want a drink and you want a good drink, right. You better drop something in that jar. You know what? When I had the owners of Backyard on the show, they were talking about that sometimes, like even during the day, there's a lot of crazy shit that goes on at bars, <laughs> and um, they even had to like go and mention that people were like having sex. Mm-hmm. You know, after, what's the craziest thing you've ever seen? Oh, like what is the craziest thing you've ever seen that we just um, don't know? Yeah, have you ever seen somebody having sex at a bar? Yes. Really? I want to know. I've walked in on people. <laughs> like in the bathroom? Like bathroom, uh-huh. behind the stage. What do you say? Um, I just be like, okay, y'all go ahead. Get it, <laughs> get it in. Yes. I am yeah. for it. Oh my God, that's awesome. I, I'm always so for I'm, people if, getting if, it in. If I'm ever getting laid at the bar, you're not going to stop me. No. Okay, good. I'm okay. just going to be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for you, like, what? what is, uh, can you... At the top of your head, think of something that you were like, oh, shit. Like, what don't we see? Because I feel like we're all in our own zones at a bar, like as the patron. Oh you know God, what I mean? so many times. Um, <laughs> <laughs> God, it shouldn't be that many. Okay. Um, now, I would say people don't need to cheat in their local vicinity. Oh, mm. Because I've, I've seen a lot of cheating. And oh. I mean, but let me tell you something. Bartenders, okay. don't ever piss us off. Mm. Don't ever piss off a bartender, especially uh-huh. a, a bartender that bounces because right. we know everything. Okay, I want details. Go. We we see everything. Mm-hmm. So, um, does, you saying, don't have to name names. Just the, the no, situation. No, the, yeah, the craziest. Oh, God, <laughs> there's so many. Um, okay. one that sticks in my mind was when that one time we found. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be great. Okay, somebody <laughs> took a poo poo. Oh. In a flower pot. Okay. At 
this is this is at the backyard. Yeah, I love, love, love backyard. <laughs> yeah, I love backyard. Somebody yeah. took a poo poo in the flower pot. Yeah, and then <laughs> how'd they get away with that? Like, I don't, I, I don't feel like know. there's so many people at that bar. Like you somebody would have saw. Yeah, you would think. I mean, we found people sleeping. Right. Like, but that was that was that's the one that ingrains in my mind. Okay. Like that's nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Like what in your mind? You couldn't go around. Why did the you do that? No, I want to talk like, about the cheating though. Did you ever have a situation where you where you kind of exposed somebody? Did they piss you off that bad? No, okay. I, I, I'm I'm that person that I I know I will hold your secret. Mm, okay. And I will wait for it. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I'll wait until yeah. it don't like ammunition, right? Yes, like, I'm, yeah. I'm okay. Just in the back of my mind, so I can use this. Yeah, way. yeah. But no, for sure. I've had people be like, "Hey, I'm a, I'll be back later, and my wife's gonna be with me." Uh-huh. But you don't know me. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be like, okay, man. And then they come in. <laughs> yeah. And I'll be like, shit, okay. Yeah, yeah. I can't act like I know what they drink. So right. then I'm like, hey, what can I get you today? No, so, but, but, but it's like, I don't know you for 50 bucks. Like, yeah, yeah. What's you up? better put some. You okay. Know. Otherwise, but, I'm be like, but weren't you here with your sister? Like, okay. yes. I've seen, I've seen people come in with other people they weren't supposed to be with. Right. Like, and then I, I've seen those other people come in yeah. with other people it's they weren't a, supposed to be with. It's such a small town. It's, oh, yes. And it, I yeah. just be like, hey, <laughs> how you doing? Yeah, I feel you. And then they'll be like, April, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, anyway, uh-huh. keep it, hey, keep it between us. Keep that jargon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. money in here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Um, do you think, because it seems like a lot, like you've been in bartending for 10 years, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, do you think that that is something that people can go on the rest of their life and just do? Like, do you think that's a, yes. that, do you think that's a retirement job? Absolutely. Okay. You can make a lot. Mm-hmm. And me working out of town and stuff like that and seeing just the money in Waco that you can make. Right. And then seeing it in like Dallas and Houston. Because some of the bartenders in Waco that have the bomb ass personalities. Right. They will ball yeah. out of town. And uh, so many people tell me that as well. Um, right. For sure, I've, I've seen bartenders in their 60s, in their 70s, uh-huh. and they're still making six, $700 a night. Right. I mean, why would you say no to that? Right, okay. <laughs> so, so that's why they stay so long then. Mm-hmm. Okay, because I, you know, I always viewed, and, and people might, you know, this is my opinion. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I always viewed bartending um waiting tables or whatever i always felt like that was a stepping stone to the next thing you're going to do right. in life do you know what i mean I, yeah. I never viewed bartending as like a retirement game yeah do you know? some people do i would yeah. say that a lot of people do do it to put themselves through school right, or right. you know things like that but um i think it's changed from the thought process that it used to be yeah a lot of people used to think like oh you're a waitress you ain't doing shit right da, right da, da, da. you know but it's become a career move for right, a lot for of sure. people because sometimes you move up, you become the manager. Hell, some people own their own bars. Yeah, yeah. And so, but it's for sure not the same. Okay. It's not the same money. Got you. Yeah. It's it's grown. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> so that's it's what. Grown. So okay. So in your opinion, they can do that. Oh yeah. Yeah. For sure. What and is there any, is there one <laughs> last thing that you can share with us about the the service industry as a bartender? I mean, what what one last thing do you want to mm-hmm. give to the viewer watching this to how to treat you guys and such? Um, I would say there is a misconception. Okay. With bartenders and servers, um, I think people. On, on both sides. Yeah. I think if you're coming into it, come into it with an open mind. Okay. If, if you don't like people, this is That's not, not for what you, you should yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> no. Because sometimes I get frustrated too and right. I snap at people and I'll have to come back and be like, listen, my bad. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, it's been a long day. Let, let, yeah. Let me just give you a shot here. Bye. Because you, well, you guys are working all kinds of crazy hours. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm sure, like, if the bar closes at two in the morning, you guys probably don't right. get off to like, what, 3 30 or 4? Yeah. Like, yeah. A lot of times I say to the bartender, from the bartender side, do it because you love it. Don't right. do it because you have to. Okay. Because if you have to, you're going to get frustrated and right. you're going to take it out on the customers. Mm, that makes sense. So you know it's not like saying? a normal job in that Mm-mm. aspect. Okay. Mm-mm. For sure. It's, it's something that you definitely have to say yes to. Right. Um, but at the, on the customer end, I would say the same thing. Yeah. Like come in with an open mind. Okay. Come in with an attitude of, hey, I'm not going to come up to this bartender and act all damn crazy. All crazy, and, acting a fool, and yeah. And because at the end of the day, we control your drinks. Okay. 
<laughs> no, I feel you. Yeah. So either you're going to get a good drink or yeah, you're going to get a shitty, get a shitty drink. drink. So you better come in with what mindset that you want For sure. to have. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get a good drink tonight, yeah, yeah. so I'm going to come in very nice. <laughs> okay, no, I got you. For sure. Well, I'm really happy that, you know, to have some insight on the bar, you know, the bar scene. Like, I haven't been in a long time, but, you know, I just had, like, a lot of questions in regards to a lot that goes on behind the scenes and stuff. And I right. think for the most part, you've answered for me, you know, and if not, we'll, we'll have to come get you back. <laughs> you know what I mean with that? Um, so you mentioned earlier before we wrap up, you know, you have some other endeavors that you were working on. Yes. Now, I think I remember you a couple years ago, at least, saying that you invested a lot of your money in something. How's that going and what was it? Um, it was a dance studio. OK. Uh, I was going to open up a dance studio. Yeah. Everybody that truly knows me lo- knows that I love dance. Right. Um, adults, kids, not little kids, yeah, but, yeah. You know, but like you know, teenagers, yeah. that, that kind of stuff. Um, I was going to open up a dance studio and I invested in a space. And uh-huh. I was working on fixing it up and things like that. But then COVID hit. Okay. So uh, COVID hit March 2020. I was going to open in April. Yeah. So it wasn't um, something that I announced that I don't I don't have this space anymore. Okay, got you. Um, so this is kind of a lot of people figuring it out. Okay, got you. Um, because I people were dying, and I was like, right. mm, let me just. So it was, it was just and, bad timing, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. yeah. and I didn't want to make it all about me. Like, oh, right. my God, I lost my dance studio, that right. kind of stuff. But it definitely hurt. It took me a, a good while to get over mm. it. And um, hopefully I can find a space soon. Yeah. Um, and bartending and stuff like that because I, I love where I'm at. Did you I'm lose happy. that money? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> now, people were trying to get me to get that PPP loan, and I was like, listen, <laughs> yeah. I'm not about to go to jail with y'all. <laughs> okay, no, no but I was going to say, like, so how did you recoup from that? Because I'm sure that was traumatic for you. Like, um, Yeah, it's... It, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't. Okay. I mean, I just kind of went through it. Right, um, right. I took a lot of self-care, mm. um, a lot of opportunity to figure out who I was. Okay. I was like, maybe there was something I was missing mm. that I still needed to work on. Right. So that's what I did. And I took a lot of self-care and figuring out, you know, who I who I was. Right, yeah, no, for sure. So for sure, um, didn't drink a lot. Yeah. I got healthy. Yeah. Um, I started bartending again, but okay. not with the mindset of this is what I want to do. I just went into it right. for fun. And I regrouped. Um, yeah. I live with my mom now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I moved out of my apartment. I was yeah. like, fuck this shit. Yeah. Um, I live with my mom now. So it's it's given me a lot of opportunity to build right. my credit, save a lot of money. So it's, and it's, cra- it's crazy to hear your perspective about it, too, because like I said, the majority of the people on the show have a successful business or are, are about mm-hmm. to start an endeavor. And, um, you know, for you to have just lost it in such a short yeah. time, you know, I'm sure... You know, it wasn't an easy thing to deal with, um, but you know, I have all the confidence in the world that when the timing is right, April, oh, yeah. you know, you'll definitely get I it back. I say, it. if everybody else can do it, I can do it. Too. No, yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> some of the stupidest fucking people own a goddamn business. <laughs> you know but yeah, I mean? that, yeah. and then I started a little um, self care soap business on the side. Oh, okay. And then I also have the athletic clothing line still with my brother. Yeah, yeah. Um, shout out to any and Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but for sure, there's a lot of little things that I'm doing. A okay. lot of little. I've always been a hustler. Yeah. That people are always like, April, how are you always making money? I'm yeah. like, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go find a way. <laughs> okay. It's, it's you, always yeah. something going on with me. <laughs> right. And that's, that's so good to know, April. I'm really happy for you. What's next you. for you? Um, Next mm-hmm. is the top. The top. <laughs> just, just take it to the top. Okay. Uh, next for me, I know, honestly... Hopefully, some of the investments that I've made over this year okay. um, start to flourish. Oh, and, so you got some um, new things in the works. Oh, yeah. So, oh, okay. <laughs> any, any little teasers for us? Or, uh, let's just say if you haven't been to Cozy's, come on down. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things yeah. going on with that place that I'm working with. And um, a lot of things with, like I said, with dance uh-huh. and with NENC, we have a lot of stuff brewing yeah. uh, that I haven't put out Okay. Yet. It's just kind of like... I know April working on something. No, okay, yeah. So we know you're working on something, but you're not going to give us the exclusive. No, on the not yet, okay, not yet, damn not it. Yet, right, a lot of, lot, of, lot of projects with my brother okay, as good. well. So yeah. hopefully those will just really. Yeah. You know? uh, okay, no, I hear you. Well, I'm really happy, you know, to hear that you're going to move on, for, you know, from that. Um, right. Thank you for so much for coming on to this show. I know that, we, again, we had a lot of scheduling conflicts. I was nervous that you were going to back out, but you came <laughs> through, and I really appreciate it. I think it was a lot of fun to get to know thank the you. bartender side of shit. So and really, if anybody <laughs> has any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, oh, yeah, like, the aspiring bartender. Okay. And, and then when can we catch you at Cozy's again? Um, Cozy's, I work Fridays and Saturdays. Okay. Uh, well, actually, Thursdays. We've added open mic night on Thursdays. Oh, okay. Okay. So um, we have, um, I can't even get my words out. We have um, 
open mic on Thursdays, yeah. then hip hop karaoke on Fridays. Oh, okay. And then Saturdays is usually the turn up. That's the, when people get oh. loud and go crazy. Oh, okay, oh we have cool. a stripper pole for you too. For me? <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> so you want to hop on? I'm there, yeah. We'll, talk, we'll do the public affair over there. But yes, for sure. Now, yeah. I, I love it. It's a great place to work. Okay. It's also. Um, with minority women owned. Mm. So shout out to Miss Tanya. Okay. Uh, she's amazing. Shout out their address. Friend. Shout out Cozy's. What's up? Um, I don't know. Oh, you know the address. address. <laughs> okay. What part of town it's, is it it's in? It's in Bell Mead. It's in Bell Mead. Okay. <laughs> uh, she yeah. makes fun of me because yeah. every time somebody asks me the address, I'd be like, something yeah. same street. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> um, I don't know. Google Cozy's and that's where April where works. <laughs> well, but yeah, definitely come check us yeah, out. Yeah, for sure. Thank you again so much for coming on to the show. And it's really good to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. Um, um, I've mentioned this on the show before, but I am brainstorming, as I've been, um, a new photo shoot. <laughs> and um, just a little exclusive, April has committed to being hey. a part of that photo shoot. It's going to be really sexy. I have a really good idea. You're still in, right? Yeah. Okay, still in. Okay, I just be patient with me because I'm trying to find you're fine. a guy. Take so your time. once again, like I mentioned before, if you're a man who wants to be on a photo shoot and you're really hot, hit me up in my DMs. Yes. I'm not going to try and sleep with you. It's to do work with April. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we might have to put your ass on camera. See. Anyway, <laughs> uh, thank you guys again so much for watching this episode of The Public Affair. I really appreciate it. April, again, thank you so much for coming thank on to guys. this episode. Um, before we go, I definitely want to give a shout out to a few more of our sponsors of The Public Affair. Of course, to Soko Soccer Academy with my boy Dominic Gutierrez and I, Isaac Carrillo, London Carrillo and Ariana Gutierrez. They're located on Franklin Drive. They offer team, small group and individual skill training and they have open play on Friday nights and they also specialize in soccer training and of course fitness training. I've lost over 53 pounds Woo-hoo. since April's last saw me and my hey. new my Power One Away shirt fits now. It's so great. <laughs> I was telling you that before you used to be able to see my titties and shit and now <laughs> thanks to Soka Soccer Academy I don't have those issues no more. It's great hey. and I don't sweat in my sleep and I don't lose my breath. It's so great. Thank you Soka Soccer Academy for putting me on this really great health and weight loss journey you guys are the best of course the fat boy michelada and botana with my boy junior banda which you know i go to soko and then they're my vice because they're so <laughs> delicious they provide the best michelada and botana plates for yourself or for a party they're locally nice. operated to so make sure you get the best and not the rest darling and um junior has an array of different types of things as well he has a whole menu on fat boy michelada and botana's uh, facebook page to so make sure you guys go check it out and get your order in make sure you get the best and not the rest darling again thank you guys again <laughs> so much for watching this episode of the public affair don't forget to like and subscribe this is episode i really appreciate it and um just a little bit of announcement i'll go ahead and announce it on this episode i'm okay. really excited okay starting august 30th i have taken a full-time position at power 108 so you, hey. guys, so you guys can uh, listen to me monday I, I had the saturday night mix show for the last six years um from eight to ten uh Congratulations. Um, I, thank you i appreciate it and in the last month or so uh we have been negotiating <laughs> <laughs> to say the least and we uh, finally came to a mutual agreement and so starting Love August it. 30th um, weekdays from 1 to 3 I will be on air at Power 108 so I'm, I'm really excited <laughs> I worked for that shit <laughs> that yes. was a long time so um, thank you guys again so much uh, for the love and support and don't forget to tune in and listen to me when you're not watching The Public Affair and of course new episodes of The Public Affair will be out every single Monday like I, hey. like I promise All right. on time yes okay. and, okay. Thank- <laughs> and right. don't forget darling to always keep it between us <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs>